welcome to another intriguing edition of your favorite TV program, Artisan Spot. Joining me today on Artisan Spot is the son of, okay, let me not say the son of the cell. I would have said, love to say the son of the cell because he's been here for like a very long time. Let me say someone who has been making us proud locally and internationally. And he's no other person than Mr. Emmanuel Ajala. Did I get your name correct? Engineer Emmanuel Ajala. Engineer <laughs> Emmanuel Ajala. Okay, yes. Finally, I got it right. You're welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you. All right, so tell us, who is Engineer Emmanuel Ajala? Yes. <laughs> uh, just like uh, the name implies, I'm Ajala by name. Mm -hmm. I prefer Ajala by name. Okay. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer by profession. Okay. And I have passion in music. Mm -hmm. And I've done couples of uh, high life uh, gospel music so far. So, and I'm still planning to do more. Okay, all right. Uh, you said you're an engineer, and then what happened? You left engineering instead of practicing, and then you're now into music. What happened? I'm still practicing. You're still still practicing. Bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I only have passion for music, for music, so I cannot do without music, so mm -hmm. I combine both. Okay. And um, how do you go about combining the both of them? Ah. Music and... The job. Yeah. Like I said earlier, you know, one thing is that when you have passion for something, mm -hmm. you don't see it as stress. Mm -hmm. So any, you always make out time for okay. something that you have passion for. Okay. Be it in the midnight or whenever you're free, you always mm -hmm. try to do one or two things About with that. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move straight to your journey into the entertainment industry, music in particular. And how did it begin? Yeah, it began in 1995. Mm -hmm. Then I was part of uh, some band groups, okay. like the Hotline Ensemble, mm. God is God Dance Band. Okay. So we're playing live music up to uh, 2002 when I gained admission. Okay. So from there, I decided to reduce a little bit so I can focus Before on my studies. School. Yes. So at, uh, at around 2004, that was when I did my first demo. I wanted to go into music proper. Okay. But I didn't have the financial uh, assistance and backup from family, so okay. I have to let it go mm. until January last year mm. when I officially started. Into it full yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. All right, so from that time till now, what are those challenges you've been facing as a person? Personally, you are trying to probably record your song, record your song, do it, write your lyrics, and then come up with something that the crowd would be proud of. Yes, I would say uh, the major challenge is in combining the words to become, you know, uh, to form the music or, yeah. or the, the, the melody, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, getting someone that you trust, you know, that has been there before you to advise you. And also, because most times you might write a song and someone that is more experienced than you can tell, you know, the arrangement isn't good. But like I would say right now, the, mo the major challenge is that most people wouldn't want to disclose or show their songs to other yeah, because you're afraid that maybe he or she might pick Copy, one or two things yeah. from that. But at the end of the day, that's why you see when we do songs these days, it doesn't last maybe one month, two months, everything is After trending, it's <laughs> everything is gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the major challenge is finance, because okay. if you don't really have the finance to push or the backings to push, mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, your one of your singles I listened to um, from Zero to Hero. What inspired you to come up with the song title <laughs> from Zero to Hero? Well, uh, it's a long story, mm. but I had to cut it short. Okay. Uh, you know, one thing about this song is that when I just considered how I started, mm. both in my career and in the music, how I started till. I got to where I am today. Okay. It can only be God, you know. Okay. So that point was my zero point. Mm. And where I am now, I would say God has really showed me mercy. Mm. Though I haven't arrived yet, mm. I'm still pushing and I'll still get there. Okay. So and also in April this year, I remember the one I when I made one post, I asked my fans, uh, between Afro and High Life. Which, do you Which one should I go for? Okay. And if you're choosing any genre for me, you have to tell me what you want me to sing. Mm. <laughs> so I, I got lots of response from it somewhere. Okay. It was funny actually, and it was fun though. Mm. 
yeah and uh, most of them in summary was like tell us a story of how god blessed you you know okay so i now said okay i know what i'm going to do so i just came up with this title from zero, zero to, to hero. hero though if i want to say everything the song can get up to one hour so i just try to you know okay blend everything together yeah. <laughs> all right you went into music um precisely into gospel music what happened you didn't go secular but went to gospel well um both genre is okay and good mm -hmm. but i think that the gospel will give me room to touch lives and talk to people and pass the message okay you know uh, everybody will not be a reverend or pastors you know to preach on the yeah. pulpit but from songs too, you can also pass a message to people. Mm. You can also encourage people, give people hope and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's why I choose to go into gospel. Mm. Wow, that's nice. Uh, looking at the entertainment industry here in Akwaibom, what would you say is the future of entertainers, upcoming artists and the entertainers that have been there over, over the years and then it looks as if they are going nowhere? First and foremost, mm. um, I would say love is missing okay because when there is no love you can't make any headway okay you know when you don't support your brother mm -hmm. you don't support your sister yeah. how do you feel that you're gonna stand out okay. it's not possible mm -hmm. we have to love ourselves mm -hmm. we have to push ourselves you find out that if you drop your song today mm -hmm. and drop your link okay. it's only maybe few people that you that see that will share it ah, yeah it's not supposed to be like that. In this life, we should understand that we are not competing with anybody. Oh. Your destiny remains your destiny. Mm. What God says you will be is what you're going to be. Mm. So there's no how if you, are, if you are progressing today, I shouldn't feel that, feel bad that you're progressing. Okay. I should support you. Mm. Maybe in the line of supporting you, God will just show me mercy and yeah. also skyrocket me. You know? mm. But when you now feel that, you no, know, if I push it and this person will now blow like the words we use, you know, mm then it look as if me, I'm nobody. So mm -hmm. you just close eye and do as if you don't. You don't. <laughs> yes. So love is number one and two mm -hmm. is finance. Mm -hmm. So if we love ourselves and come together, definitely the industry is going to grow doing very well. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm looking, coming back home once again into the entertainment industry here in Aquaibom State. We have a whole lot of artists who are complaining here and here and there that the entertainment industry is now based on psychopancy that most of the artists they're only performing on only government official shows and then they pick people that they know that okay this person is with me they don't go they don't go okay to pick all those upcoming artists to join them it's just they're just they have cartel this and that that that's the rumor over here what's your take on that like i just said okay. Here in the States, we, we don't really have much functions going mm -hmm. on. So when you have events here and there, mm -hmm. you see that talent, you'll be able to discover talent. And when there are talent hunts, a mm -hmm. lot of talent hunts uh, going on, mm -hmm. maybe companies will be coming up, uh, record labels will be coming up, organizing yeah. uh, uh, talent hunts and mm -hmm. program events. Mm -hmm. You find out that they'll be able to discover new talents, mm -hmm. support them. Mm -hmm. And those ones that really have skills also will come up. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it the other way around, you only have the government events yeah. and there are a lot of artists on ground so now even if you are choosing who are you going to choose out of this mm. maybe you have uh, backings or you have friends or brother mm. or cousins that is in government mm. definitely your slot is there yeah, and sure. maybe this other person doesn't, doesn't have, have yeah. how will he or she feature mm. so this is the problem mm. all right uh, let's go back to your career now i'm talking about your career how many albums do you have to your records um, actually, basically, I have uh, already made like 15 tracks mm -hmm. and uh, I still have like more five that I haven't released yet, mm -hmm. which I'm still to release. Oh, it has been recorded and everything is set. It's just for me to anticipate them and release them. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Uh, your song from Zero to Hero, I would love to listen to it. Like, I would love to see you perform here for us. Sure, sure. I'm going to do that. <laughs> 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 okay now <laughs> Thank you. 
though I was born poor, but poverty was not born in me. I looked up to Jesus and he lifted me. No matter what you are facing today, I bring to you the message of hope. Be strong, things will be better. It might be stormy right now, but never rains forever. Amen. From nothing to something, now God do it for me. From zero to hero, from grass to grace, from rag to riches, He turned me around for many to see and trust in Him. <laughs> now God do it for me. <laughs> from zero to hero, from grass to grace, from rock to riches, he turned me around for many to see and trust in him. If God can do it for me, God can do it for you. From a place of nothing, God showed me mercy. God remembered me when all hope was lost. That same God will do it for you. Those that use my problems just to describe me, we are put to shame. When grace announced me, grace attracts favor, breakthrough and protection, divine connections and peace of mind. From nothing to something, now God do it for me. From zero to hero, from grass to grace, from rag to riches, He turned me around for many to see. And trust in him. Okay, that was a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's this part I like in this song. That that beginning, that beginning point, the entry point that you're like, uh, though I was born poor, poor. Was but poor, poverty was, was not born in me. me. I mean, what do you mean by that? I don't understand. Ah, you know that um, most of us we are born into a poor family. Okay. okay yeah. But most time, maybe your mom, your dad wasn't rich. Mm. You just limit yourself mm. that. My family stuff, I cannot make it. You cannot make it. You were born poor, but poverty was not born in you. Mm -hmm. But if you believe in that, you always make out way, you always make out plan, you always think mm -hmm. and you know develop yourself in a way that God will favor you and you'll make it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said so. Wow. <laughs> that's a nice one there. All right, Thank and you. so tell us, apart from music, what else can you be identified with? Ah music, 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 music. Oh, true. <laughs> Outside my career. Yeah. <laughs> music, music, music. Oh, I really love music, yes. <laughs> I really love music. Anything music, instruments, mm -hmm. whatsoever. So oh, long you play it got instruments to do too. With music, yes. Wow, that's nice. I play the drums, I mm -hmm. play the lead guitar, I play the bass guitar, I play mm -hmm. the keyboard. Mm -hmm. It's only the trumpet I don't know how to blow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you also know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, in the next three to four years, where do where, where do we see you? Where do we see um, you? I would say the next three to four years. Hmm. Um, by then, I might have acquired all the skills, okay. all the uh, energy, everything that is required in music. That okay. I'll be able to mentor the young ones. Hmm. I'll be able to train them. Hmm. I'll be able to project them and support them mm. to be well known and 
stand progress, out. Progress, yes, stand out among their peers. All right, uh, looking at uh, our entertainment industry here in Okabo, in the next two to four years also, where do you see us? Um, I know that in the next two to four years, definitely, we, we're going to grow beyond where we are today. Okay. We're going to grow because there are a lot of talents on ground mm. and there are a lot of people putting more energy and mm. efforts, you know, to make it. Mm. And definitely, you're going to see a different a change. picture of entertainment industry in Akwaibom mm. State. All right. We have a lot of upcoming artists out there who are looking up to you, who are also struggling to survive, struggling to come up with their recordings, their songs and all that. What's your advice for them? They need to learn. Mm. You need to ask everybody. You need everybody have to need to have a mentor. You know, yeah. you can't just start up on your own without mm. someone mentoring you. Mm. You need to go closer to people that you feel they've made They're it. Good. They'll be able to advise you. Mm. They'll tell you this were the mistake I did during my own time. Mm. If you follow this path, you will avoid this. Okay. Then you can grow faster. Then when you do your song, you now ask someone to vet it for you, rearrange okay. it for you, mm -hmm. advise you. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be able to do a song that has meaning. Most of the songs we do is just making noise. Okay. You don't really have the lyrics doesn't really have any meaningful uh, or impact to make when you okay. release them. Mm -hmm. So these are many more. Mm -hmm. All right. Permit me to ask. You have a manager. No, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you manage yourself. I manage myself. <laughs> mm. All right, your vote of thanks, final word of advice to your viewers out there, as you call it, a day. Um, I just want to say thank you to mm. everyone that has been supporting my musical career. career. Mm. Um, like this morning, I made a post that from zero to hero has hit two million. Uh, wow. Uh, streams. And mm. I didn't do that alone. Mm. My fans, my family, my friends, mm. all the bloggers, the gospel bloggers, mm. uh, radio stations that have shared the song, played the song. So mm. I'm just grateful. Just wow. want to say thank you. And keep playing from zero to hero. <laughs> Share it among your friends. One Share love. It. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Two million. Streams. Yes, streams, yeah. Wow, that's a nice one. It was nice having you on the show. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you once again. All right, that's been the title for today's program on artists on sports. I remain your TV goddess to the Z, to the E, and to the L. You can always call me Z, remember? From all of us who made today's success, we say thank you and God bless you. Bye bye.